Ah, what a glorious morning, full of opportunity, promise, and a very exciting episode of ZetaCraft. You will notice that we've achieved a visual upgrade. That is right. I have finally found the willpower to be productive and installed a shader pack. Now my crappy building will look, I don't know, shadowy or something. Today we have a very exciting episode of uh, ZetaCraft planned, as we are finally going to make the move to our main base, or the location of the main base. We never even saw it, I believe. Episode 1, I never actually showed where the spot was. I took some shots near it, but I never actually showed you where the spot was. We're going to go back there today. Now, as you can see here, my pack is full. I have everything that I'm going to need to be successful back at my starter at back at my main base. I have harvested my sugarcane. I've harvested my pumpkins. I've harvested my carrots. I've harvested my wheat. Through several PETA violations, I managed to fit my chickens into my inventory. And with that, through the power of video editing, <laughs> I saw this boat in half! Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to Archibald Acres, the location of our main base. Oh, it's beautiful. Nestled here in between these couple of large hills, there shall be a sprawling utopia for all of ZetaCraft. We shall grow fields and fields of food, feed the starving masses, for the right price, of course, you know. If you're good at something, never do it for free. Let's get a let's get a nice let's get a nice aerial shot of this. Oh, look at that. It's wonderful. And I'm super happy to be here bringing bringing this to you today. Now, I did leave myself a little goodie bag back all the way back in episode 1. I shot part of my video actually up over there on that hill. But I did leave myself, you know, a few flowers I thought I might need. Some me a melon slice, a zombie head, because you know, you never, you really never know what you're going to need. Wow, it's, it's beautiful. I've got lots of big plans for this place. You know, for starters, I'm thinking maybe a farmhouse off over here. We'll have fields just all over the place. Uh, we will need to do a lot of terraforming to get this place into into working operation, but, you know, I think this place has a lot of good potential. I believe there's a village over there to subjugate, I mean, trade with, in the distance. It's going to be wonderful. As we go through the next couple of episodes, I'll be developing the plan kind of on a wing and a prayer, but I think these these next couple episodes are definitely going to be more your traditional survival episodes, because we got to get up and running, and getting up and running is the fun content, in my opinion. Chess. Oh, there we go. Couple of chess to get us started. Oh, we've got a lot to do. Not much time to do it. Very first things first. Need to get a chicken farm going. Lots of logs, lots of sticks. I want a nice big pen for these guys just to start off. Chickens are going to be, you know, an instrumental part in our uh, in our food. Gate. Yeah, I did not butcher that recipe at all. There we go. Looking just fine. Forty-five. You know, we can do a bigger chicken pen for these guys. You know, we want a lot of chickens. And chickens, for the time being, are going to live... Hmm. You know what? I can always move things as plans develop. Chickens, for the time being, can live over here. Oh yeah, they're going to love this nice big pen. Oh, 
Oh, we can go bigger than that. This, thank you, sheep. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for getting in my way. Oh, this is just, this is just lovely. Isn't it great that we're going to be subjugating? I mean, raising. I have no nefarious plans whatsoever. I'm just a humble farmer trying to make his way into the world. In this Archibald Acres. Noink. Beautiful. Oh, oh, a chicken on the first egg. Oh, three chickens off of that. Oh, four chickens. Another one. One, two, three, four, five, six chickens. Grow, my lovelies, grow. Grow big and strong. I'm going to need you for all your precious eggs. Oh, there's a bee over there. Oh, we can do honey. That's fantastic. Oh, more eggs. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, the little ravine down there. That's nice. I haven't fully explored this area. I just kind of, I, I, I explored it in, the, in our creative world that we had, determined that I wanted to live here. And that's really all the more work I did to prepare, the, uh, to plan for this spot. So animal pens are just going to live over here for the time being. And I'm thinking, hmm. Off over here by the B block. This is where our crops are gonna, our starting crops are gonna live. Actually, I better build a bed here pretty soon. Thank you. One white bed. Only sleep at night during thunderstorms. Well, at least spawn is set. Oh, I for completely forgot food. There we go. You know, I really do enjoy, you know, just getting started. Like, this is, this is real Minecraft for me right here. Just the whole getting started portion. I should have brought two water blocks. That's on me. Ooh, better get to bed. Now let's take this, we'll take this moment here. Oh, another wonderful sunset. I'm loving this shader pack. Like this is so good. It really enhances the look of Minecraft. You know, we'll, t we'll use this source, uh, we'll use this quest for water as a opportunity to just explore around our, our new area and see what's what. Um, I, I picked this area because it seemed to be fairly flat. Now there wouldn't be a lot of terraforming I would need to do to prepare to prepare farmland. Oh, it's just beautiful. Sprawling, sprawling acres of, of land. That, ooh, big hole in the ground. Whoa. Yeah, we're definitely going to exploit that for resources. But most importantly, a water source. Me sneak in there. Oh, absolutely lovely. Oh, there's horses here too. We can tame horses. There's sheep. There's everything. Haven't have I? Has anybody seen any cows? Uh, lots of sheep. That's good. But uh, no cows. Pigs. Oh, there's a cow. All right, we're in business now. Oh yeah, I'm thinking a farmhouse is going to look really good over there. Maybe do some kind of neat little L-shaped design that kind of fills in that space. But uh, there's going to be, we're going to need to do a lot of terraforming here to, well, some terraforming here in this starting area. Can you believe I don't have a shovel? I can hardly believe it. I did not, I did not pack a shovel with me. Do you guys ever want to see the movie Chicken Run? 
Let me give you the plot synopsis. <laughs> ah, and what I'm sure looks like a very sloppy video cut because I wasn't totally sure where to cut it and I had to run to go home someplace and this is actually the next day. I'm just a master class of professionalism, what can I say? As the sun dips, I have set up all of our basic farming. Ooh, I hear a skeleton around here. It's, it may be, it may be time for one of them sleeps. I'll take one real quick sleep here and I'll show you what we've done. So in between days, not just cuts, days, I set up our basic farm here. Now this farm exists for the sole purpose of being basically seed stock for the fields, the sprawling fields that we're going to make here. I mean, there's going to be huge paths, sprawling fields, lots of decoration. This is going to be a farm. Archibald Acres is going to be the envy of all farms everywhere. I did a little bit of terraforming here. You know, it was a real good, it was a real productive, like, hour that I was on. The chickens are grown. The chickens are breeding. Oh, that brings me no, no amount of, that brings me no amount of joy to do that. Are they ready for, are we ready for another batch of breeding? No. Oh, no, we're not. Bummer. No seed. No seed for you. Oh, now I got to think what else we can accomplish here today. We got all the major stuff done, you know, moving farms, setting up our farms. I'm sorry, moving areas, setting up farms. Hmm, I may need to investigate how to do bee breeding. Don't want to chop down this tree until I'm totally sure on how to do breeding. Or if you can even do bee breeding, you know, my, my experience with bee breeding is in, uh, is in forestry and FTB and breeding and bees in this game work nothing like FTB. I know a good activity here. Let's plant some trees here. I got all these spruce saplings you should probably get in the ground. I got all these birch saplings. Oh, well, let's just kind of start throwing these down, you know? Oh, and that's just lovely. Oh yeah, I'm really feeling it. You know what we can do? We can go visit the local, uh, the local, uh, the local village and tell them that their time of peace and prosperity is over, and inform them that the new overlord is here and he's, you know, and he's ready to remove them from their homes, exploit them, put them in cheap employee living. You know, it's overall, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Hello, I am your new corporate overlord. You all work for me now. Um, excuse me, but uh, you look important here. Where are the trumpets? I was promised trumpets to announce my arrival. Where are they? I told you, next time I was here, I want trumpets. Oh, I'm gonna have a grand old time subjugating this population. Hello, you look important. Are you? Jeez, rip off of prices. Hello, hello, where's the, where's the worshipping? Hello, you're, hello everybody, the leader is here, your new overlord, hello! Oh my, I'm gonna have a very good time subjugating this population, really exploiting it. Hello, hello, sir. Mm. I'm gonna need to like... How many people do I need to shank to get some respect here? I did bring my good shanking sword this time. <sighs> Gaining the respect of your underlings is a lot harder than... Ooh, potato! Ha-ha! <laughs> potato! With this I shall grow an empire the likes of which no one has seen. The empire of the mighty potato! I won't be subjugating you now. This potato, with this one potato... I shall grow a corporate, I don't know, corporate something or other. And with that, with the, uh, with the inevitable potato takeover, I think this is a good place to stop. When we come back next time, we're going to be properly exploiting this village. I'm going to need to recruit some of my fellow Zetas to, uh, 
really help me exploit this. There's a feather in here. That's it. Ooh. Village is worthless. There's some fish in there, I guess. That's something. Well, when we come back next time, we're going to be exploiting the workforce. Paying them pennies on the dollar. They all work for me now, and they just don't know it. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.